Tu peux avoir chez toi, tu peux avoir chez toi. I'm sorry, what? Tu peux avoir chez toi, tu peux avoir chez toi. Tu peux avoir chez toi, tu peux avoir chez toi. Okay, no, I did not get you any breakfast yet. Sorry. But I asked you what you wanted and you never, you never said anything. Tu peux avoir chez toi. I offered you oatmeal, and I offered you toast, and I offered you orange juice, and you did not say anything. So I abandoned the idea. Oh yeah? Well, same to you. You can go sit on the stairs. Part of your assignment this week, you are going to create a gibberish scene. So, um, basically, you are writing a scene, okay, that involves two different characters, and one character speaks English, okay, and the other character speaks in gibberish, okay, and remember that gibberish is a bunch of different sounds that don't make up an actual language, okay, and um, make sure that that scene has a conflict, okay, and contrasting characters, okay, and then you're going to record yourself as those two characters. Um, so the subject for this scene can really be anything. It's very, very open-ended. If you want it to be about, you know, being in quarantine or the struggles with your family, that's up to you. Um, but it really can be any kind of scene that you want. For the two different characters, you're going to want to make sure that you have something that differentiates who is who. Okay, so whether you Film yourself as one character, you know, all of the lines that that character says all at once, and then, um, so in a costume, and record all of the lines that character says all at once, and then record the lines that the other character says all at once, and then chop it up and cut those things together in an editing source. You can do that. Um, or you can, if you do it quickly, if you have like you know, two different hats, for instance. So you had like, I have the character one hat, and then I go to the side, and then I put on the other character hat, and then I go to the side. You, know, you can do that too. So it just can be one continuous filming um, if you want. It just depends on how, you know, how you want to do it and what your editing skills or resources are. So, um, but just something fun. So, you know, really be creative and, and you know, go for it. This should be this should be fun and and kind of silly. So, there's an example video uh, called "Out of Time" that a guy, you know, somewhere in the United States, did for his project. Uh, I'm assuming he's a high schooler. I got you now, Doctor Dinkaboard. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean I'm too late? Just a minute, just a minute, hold on, hold on, hold on, I don't need a whole backstory. I only got 45 seconds in this whole project. Hey, you leave my mother out of this. Yeah, you don't even know who my mother is. That's all I got. That's all I got. I'm going to get this going out. Oh, Dr. Dinkelberg, your massage is ready. Whoa, 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 watch your mouth. Miss Porter's watching. It is uh, a short video, but you can definitely see that there are two distinct characters and then some random third person, like his brother or something, that comes in in the end. But, um, but yeah, it's quick, and but there are two um, distinct characters there. Next to the assignment in Google Classroom is a Google Doc entitled Gibberish Scene that kind of explains those directions again. Um, and that is where I'd like for you to write your scene. Now remember that when you write the gibberish, you know, you can just type like, blah, 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 like it doesn't matter what you write. I don't, I'm not expecting you to write, it's going to be Blah, 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 And then that's exactly what you're going to say. It really can just be blah, 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 like whatever you type for the what the character says. But you're probably going to want to write underneath that dialogue what the subtext or what the intention is. So in parentheses, remember, you write 
what the actions are that that character says. So to write something in script format, remember that you say the character, okay, and, and then colon, so dot, dot, and then what the character says. Now, you want to also write in parentheses, okay, and then make that italics or um, on a separate line. So it might say like, Mrs. Whitaker, confused. What? Question mark. Okay, so however you, um, you know, so you've got to make sure that your scene is written in script format. Okay, so that's where I want you to write that and then you'll um, perform that scene. So for blah, make sure that you have some sort of thing that difference blah, for this week. Um, there's my cat. Okay. <laughs> Sophie, get down. Shoo. Jeez. They have a beautiful song um, called You Will Be Found. And it's just a very uplift. There's my cat again. <laughs> a word okay, as the text for her. her I don't know how I don't love. Get a character that makes sense for your song. Do you hear my kids in the background? They want me to switch it from Pink Alicious to something else. <laughs> yes, it is your turn to pick. Then you're going to rehearse that monologue, okay, and recur. <laughs> And you're going to record that performance okay, and upload it to Google Classroom, just as you've done with your other performance pieces. Hey! Oh my God.